welcome to the show, Psychic Medium Tony Green, live in the house. Here we go. Let's grow. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm so excited for today's show. Um, I've been, today's been, yeah. So four new TikToks today. I started something new on TikTok. I hope everybody likes it. I'm going to announce it now. Although, you know, I think about something for a, it'll be in my head and I'll be thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And then I'll finally just one day just do it. Like, I don't know why I'm always so apprehensive and afraid to do things. But then when I finally just do it, I'm like, oh, what were you thinking? Why were you so afraid to do that? It's so ridiculous. So um, I've been using TikTok primarily for healings, like going on there and doing clearings and healings. So there's all these healings and clearings, which today I did two of them. The first one is for physical and emotional pain. And the second one is for narcissistic abuse. But then now I started doing where every once in a while I'll go on. If I'm getting a message from somebody on the other side, I just go on and give that message. So I did two of those today. I did one last week. Somebody uh, came through who wanted to tell their loved one that they speak to them in uh, flowers. And it was, um, I know one of the flowers was tulips because I was like two, two lips or two lips. <laughs> and then, and then the, today's messages were from, <clears throat> from people. So go check that out. Please go check that out and see if those messages may be for you. If there's somebody specifically, or if you have a question and you can't get through on the show, put it in TikTok. If I get that question, I will definitely go on and answer it live. I'm not going to answer it in the chat. I'll make a video and answer it so you can go to the video and watch the 60 second video of me answering it. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then Rebecca, Rebecca just told me she ordered the ever evolving journey for the soul. So I have them. I have my books here. <laughs> I have my books. These are the books I've authored. Ah! I can't believe that. I'm going to tell you guys something. Woo! I never in a million years would have even thought I would author a book. Because I am extremely dyslexic. I will even talk and say words and sometimes whole sentences backwards, especially if I'm under stress. Like right now, like I can feel myself going, <gasps> relax. So to have these books is craziness. Um, and plus, you know, I'm not... Um, Thank goodness I have my sister and my nieces that will edit my books because this girl needs editing. That's we're just going to leave that there. But Rebecca ordered the ever evolving journey for the soul. Now that the ever evolving books, which excuse me for looking down. <clears throat> these are, I believe, these were my very first books. These four right here were my very, very first four books, okay? And each one, um, each one, it has uh, 30 days worth of meditations in them. Um, so each one, this one is, you know, every day it goes through a process and I love it. I just love it. And then my next book was this book, which was, um, this is Poems from Above. And then I think this one was next, which is also Poems from Above. And then this one, <clears throat> which I love also, which is a transform transformational journey, which it just asks little questions. And then you answer those questions. And then you go through the whole thing and you, you know, answer the question and it helps your soul to evolve because the questions are designed to help you look at things in a very different way, which this book was channeled also. <clears throat> and um, 
What if that touch was so pure of love, they too became love? Okay, so um, what if that touch, wait, let me say it again, because the way the way I state it will help it make sense. What if, <laughs> I can't even, <laughs> I wrote it, but I cannot read it. <laughs> okay. Um, what if that touch was so pure of love, they too became love? So what if somebody somebody's touch was so pure of love that it could transmute whatever it touched into love. Wow, that is good. That is good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I came out. It's a good thing I can channel. That's, mm. this book is full of things like that. How would that change your life? How would that change other people's lives? So this book is just, I mean, all of them. I, I always tell people your first go around, do it in a note, notebook. The second time you come back and keep that notebook. The second time you come back and do this book, the second time you can write in the book. You're going to be amazed at how much your answers have changed. And you guys, I am so close to putting my second, my, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth book in the computer. <laughs> this book is very different. This book is crazy different. But I have to be careful because some of the things that are meant for my book, I've been saying on my show, and someone out there is turning what I'm saying on my show into TikToks which I don't mind. Just give a girl credit. Don't go say what I said on a TikTok like it's yours and not mention my name. My, my, mm, don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Mm -mm. No, that's not nice. Don't do that. Plus then I can't use it in my book because somebody who doesn't even isn't even the person, this one statement, people have done this in the past and whatever, but this one person who just recently did it to me couldn't get it out because it wasn't naturally hers. She stumbled through it. Like, don't do that. At least give me credit. Put my name on that. Put my name on that. If you're going to take somebody's stuff, put their name on it. I don't care if you use my statements, just put my name on it not a lot to ask <laughs> anyway okay here we go here we grow here we glow okay um oh there's so much I so much is coming through okay if you would like to call into the show and ask one question or connect with one specific loved one on the other side the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you are joining us live on YouTube, which you can, you can ask a question in the question part of it. Chat. It's called the chat, Tony. The chat. Okay. Um, I will never reach out to you on any venue in any comment and tell you you need anything from me. If you need something from me, you are going to know that. If you would like to book a session, I'm not going to tell you to book a session. You're going to know you want a session and you will go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O and book said session. Um... I do not have people cash app me. I don't even have a cash app. I don't have Venmo or any of that. It's like, just go to my website. There's a button with instructions. That's it. Do not, please, do not get ripped off. Do not get ripped off. Please do not get ripped off. Okay, thank you. That's it for the PSAs. Okay, if you are calling in, please be patient. I'm going to try to get to absolutely everybody that I can. If you are asking a question in the chat, please be patient. If you see me ask a question that was posted after yours, that simply means 
I just didn't scroll back far enough to get your question. Please repost your question. And if you ask a question in the chat, I'm going to test that you're still in the chat watching the show. I'm going to ask a question. If you do not respond, I'm going to assume you left the show and I'm not going to answer that question. That seems fair to everybody. <laughs> everybody who's listening says, yeah, that makes sense. Why are you going to answer a question for somebody who is no longer here? All I'm saying. Okay. Um, hey, Grandma Kitty. Hey, um, Heather, Amy, uh, Jenna, B, Amy, May, uh, Sally, Maris, Rebecca, uh, Karmic, Karen, um, Sal, and there's a couple of other people here. Rebecca, and Kate, I think I said Rebecca. Um, I have to go all the way back up to the top to try to say hi. Terry, thank you guys. If I miss somebody, I so apologize. Please forgive me. Um, and what? Just one more thing. If you are, if you ask a question in the chat, and I skip your question, it's because the person probably made a donation. Um, because some people donate to the channel, and they they I will answer their questions first. Okay, I always start with a caller, so we're gonna go to the call lines. I'm going to answer a caller question. When I say your area code, please say where you're calling from and what your first name is. 480, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm in Arizona. Hey, Mike, how are you today? Fantastic. Yourself? Pretty good. How can I help you today? Yeah, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing some traveling and uh, looking uh, to... Uh, I left my uh, remote sales job, I think it was probably like around October-ish, uh, end of October. Um, and um, I'm looking to get back started at doing remote sales. And uh, I know nothing's going to happen through the holidays and so forth. So um, I'm just kind of curious on what you feel in and around uh, that happening uh, to continue the traveling um, here in the uh, early part of the new year. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm hearing is a weird, this is, it's not a weird song. It's just kind of weird for this scenario. Um, when you're ready, come and get it. Ooh, that, whatever that song, you know that song. Meaning when you're ready, the job will be there, I think. I think in January, there's going to be something that comes up and it's going to be right away. As a matter of fact, it may be posted the last week in December, but it's gonna be a really rare opportunity. So just in the last week of December, make sure you're paying attention to postings or wherever you would want to work go and check out those places because there's going to be a posting for a position that doesn't get posted very often. Like once people get this position, they want to keep it like the pay, the benefits, it's yummy, yummy, goody, goody all the way around. So they want you to make sure that you are paying attention to that. And you don't, you, you look for this opportunity from the last week of December through the beginning to to, to mid-January, keep your eyes wide open because there are going to be some positions coming in. And you can travel while you are seeking, um, but every, make sure you're paying attention and you're looking. You don't want to, um, I hear the statement, you don't want to sleep on this, okay? You don't want to sleep on this opportunity. You okay. don't want to let it go. So that's what I'm hearing for that, Mike. I do feel like um, also, also, Mike, one thing I'm hearing, if you don't do this now, you might, you might not be thinking of doing this now, but in the future... And I'm going to say this in the best way I can, please, um, please bear with me in the way I say this, because I might not say exactly how it's supposed to sound. In the future, you may start your own contracting company where you start a company where you 
are working not with only one company, but several companies, and you have the remote salespeople doing the like uh, the calls for these companies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that right there because if this is your idea, I don't want to put it out there for, you know. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This idea hasn't come up. There's been some other businesses and stuff like that uh, that I was thinking about, um, okay. things like that. But um, that's always a um, – no, I, 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 uh, when I first got into remote, uh, I worked for a company that was contracted by a bigger firm so they didn't have to have their own in-house sales team. Okay. I feel like, uh, okay, so I, I'm going to say this, whatever your business idea or ideas are, it's time for you to start moving into them and making them happen. Also, philanthropy comes from, please excuse me, because this is for you, philanthropy or that that next step, you're ready for it like 90%. The other 10% is just the risk taking. But whatever it is, you can start now and you'll be very happy by June, July. Now, if you choose to take another position, that's okay. But you can also start your own thing while taking a position. Um but I, I just feel like you're ready. You just maybe don't, you're still, okay. Ah, you're still a little bit like, I don't want to say Peter Panning it. Like you still want to flit around and be a little bit free. You might not be completely ready for the full on yeah. responsibility of it. But they're saying don't. Like some things are a matter of timing and to get in under the radar so that you can be, when the wave comes, you can be there. So just start now, one one baby step as a, at a time, act as if you're setting up the business, do all the steps to set up the business or businesses. And then when the time comes, just push the go button. That's it. That's what they're saying. It, it's interesting you say that because I, I'm doing the RV traveling and I've, at the, my previous job, I was working from, you know, I could be anywhere. Um, I bought a, uh, a large food cart thinking about doing a, a food cart business because I used to own a deli years ago when I was in my uh, late 20s, early 30s. And but I know how much work that is. And I really enjoy this traveling because right now I'm just sitting in the middle of the desert in Arizona hanging out. Um and I'm actually, and you mentioned the travel aspect that, you know, you can travel while you're still looking, because I was thinking um, maybe in the next week or so, heading down to uh, the Corpus Christi area on the Gulf Coast of Texas and kind of checking that out. So literally, you were pretty much walking through the whole thing of what my mindset's been over the past uh, several months. And it is, um, no. But if I did the food cart thing, I know I would have to be stationary in a particular area. No, no, uh, no, and it, no, you wouldn't. In now an let urban me, area. No, 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 no. Wait, Mike, let me tell you something. If you do the food mm -hmm. cart thing, a if you do it like a food truck or a food cart that you can pull behind, yeah. you can go from state to state, from festival to festival or fair to uh, fair, or you can like literally make it like that. Okay. I mean, think about Rather it for a moment. Specific. Think about it for a moment. If you want to travel and you want to be in that space where you can have this business and travel, you can go to the area and set up your food cart at whatever event, concerts, um, shows, um, there's some licensing involved, but yeah, you can do that if you yeah. choose to. The only okay. limit is the limit that we don't know the answer to yet. Our minds will say, this is the way everybody else has done it. But when we allow right. some, some, some other thing, just because that's the way we've seen it, you can do this in any way you want. You can open it wide up and travel within one area or 
travel throughout the US and and eventually and let me be clear about this eventually have like a franchise of the traveling yep. foodie whatever you want to call it whatever your thing is where you have other people also franchising your food cart okay does that help you mike does uh, that answer a lot of yeah, questions no, absolutely. And I was in, in regards to that scaling aspect, I was thinking, uh, because again, you could probably get something up and running food cart wise, uh, under 10 grand. So I was thinking, you know, you could find uh, veterans hook up with veteran agencies and oh, get yeah. them set up. And meanwhile, you're setting it up like a franchise and, you know, they pay you X amount of, you know, whatever for getting them set up for X amount of time. And then after that, they can go do their own thing if they want. Oh my gosh! Board. Absolutely, absolutely. And on that, I, you know, I, there's another. Th this, oh yeah, no, no, no. What I they're showing it. me right now is there's a, a company called Bubbly, and they just build these uh, beverage carts that you can take to events that are catered and have like a, a a traveling bar. So yeah, you could even eventually start yeah. a company that Pretty builds your that. specific food truck and goes with it. Yeah, absolutely. There's, see, yeah. here's the thing. Now, I, I just want to interject something for everybody listening and or watching. Here's how you take one idea that starts as this set in place idea and you take, and you just start letting your imagination run wild. And all of a sudden we have at least three business, if not four business ideas that we've just talked about here, folks. And if you can't pick up on one of them or trans translate that into something that you're doing, call me. We will figure out how to get you up and in a business because I believe in order for our world to keep thriving and growing, we need entrepreneurs. We need people that that are in business for themselves and working with other people in business. Uh, we were put here to create, co-create, to be the inventors of our life and the way we want it, not the way it's always been done. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you for that landing place. Now I'm going to jump to this and now I'm going to jump to this and then I'm going to take it here and then I'm going to take it there because there is no limit to anything that 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 if our mind can be open to it, we can walk right through it to the other side and then open our mind even further. Okay, Mike, I hope this was very, very helpful yeah. for you. Awesome. Yeah, thanks so much. Appreciate it. You are so welcome, Mike. Thank you so much for calling in. Happy travels. Uh, sit down and whatever that is, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever that plan that you have, expand it to every area that we talked about and then let your imagination go and grow with it more and watch how you feel about it and then act on it. You don't ever, you can even just create the food trucks and the venue and then have the veterans go and do it while you travel. You don't ever have to give up yeah. what you want to get the other part of what you want. Oh, okay, that's it. That's all I've got for you. That's it. That's it. Awesome. <laughs> that, that, is, that is everything for you this moment, in this moment. Uh, if you want more, we can schedule a session. But right now, yeah. whoo, ha, that is it. Thank you, no, Mike. Absolutely. And, and for, my, for my new moon thing tomorrow, the desert that I'm in literally has is so filled with uh, white quartz. It's just oh. everywhere. Send and the me full moon some. Stuff, the ceremony I did a couple weeks ago was amazing. So yeah, it's yeah. So Mike, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Mike, take some of that white quartz, put it in a container, and send it to me, please. Yep. Please send me some of that white quartz. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll hit you up. Uh, yes, yeah, please do. I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah. No. 100. percent Thank, thank you Appreciate so much. Appreciate the value you just gave me. Oh, absolutely. Please sit down with this and play with it and let it let it grow into even more than we've talked about, okay? Sounds good. I'll be in touch. I hope so. Thank you so much, Mike. Bye-bye. Mm, Bye-bye.
Okay, you guys, see, just like that. Okay, I'm going to go to a question um, in the chat. Now, I, I do want to say, um, if you are in the chat and you're asking a question, please, please be other aware and look at all the other people who have asked a question and realize if I have time, I will get get to your um get to your question. I don't know who the first person. I think Sally is the first uh, first uh, question that I have on here that I haven't answered yet. Uh, do you see me getting a new job soon? If so, what kind of job will it be? Sally, what have you done in the past? I'm going to go down to the bottom now and ask. Um, Sally, what have you done in the past? And SB, relax. I will get to you. I promise. I will get to you, SB. Sally, what have you done in the past? Let me know. Um, hey, Grandma Kitty. Oh, Grandma Kitty's on the line. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you next, Grandma Kitty. I am. I'm gonna get you next. Um, Sally, Sally, Sally. We have three seconds for you to answer until I go to the next person who will be Grandma Kitty on the line. So Sally, please, if you're here. Okay. I'm going to Grandma Kitty online. Grandma Kitty, how are you? Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you today, love? Well, Tony, you, your advice uh, for careers is so fantastic. I try to apply it what I think might fit with me, but, and you have given me such good advice. I am working on my, my, my uh, sequel to my screenplay right now as we speak today. But uh, as far as like extra money, like in the meantime, I'm just, I've tried to get like a part-time, I work full-time, trying to get a part-time job. I, I want to do something that's going to kind of benefit me in many ways. Is that possible? Am I asking too much? No. Any thoughts from your spirit guys? No, 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 not at all. Can I'm just going to ask you a really quick question. What what type of work do you do at your day job? Let me call it that. Okay. Um, I'm a uh, I work in a, for a solar company, and like the escalations department, like all the all the mad people call me. <laughs> okay. So not my fave, but if, if I work at home, it pays well. No, I that's beautiful. Things. That's beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> there are a couple of things coming in that, you know, I always say to, I say this to everybody, if you want cash or you want to have human interaction, go get that position with a company like a cafe, a um, restaurant, a bar, and have yeah. that interaction. And for you, with your imagination and what you do, it would be really good for you. Now, if that's not where you're wanting to go, if that's not what you're wanting to do, the second position I see coming in for you, and I, I'm just going to, there's a lot of squeaking in the background, so I'm going to mute you for a second. Um, the second type of position that I see coming in for you man, I see so many different opportunities. It's difficult for me to know which one to, to, to really just, okay. It's, I know you do your writing, but there's something else you can start on your own, not working for someone, but something on your own. And again, I'm going to go into this and I don't get any commission from these people bubbly. They don't even know who I am. I don't think they've ever heard of me. Okay. I just saw it online and I thought, oh my goodness, that is an amazing, who thought of that? Um, but whatever you're going to do next, like your, you have your, your like day job, the next, and you have your, your writing. I think whatever you start next is something that is yours that you can build on also. And I do feel like you're gonna work with another person on this. Like you, like for example, you and another person start a, 
some sort of collaboration that leads into a business or somebody you know already has a business and you you fit very nicely into what they have and and how you want to how you how, what you can do you fit very nicely into their their thing you fit very very nicely into it um whatever it is what whatever that is you fit very nicely into it i know that's not a very exact answer but you have you're going to have a choice of two or three things and you can't go wrong i of course will always recommend the thing that will help you grow the most in the future, which is the collaboration thing. Okay, Grandma Kitty, I hope that was helpful. I hope that that, that works for you. And see, now Sally did not answer. So we're gonna go, hey, Patri Pat Patricia, yeah, and Nancy, welcome to the show. We're gonna go to the next person because, um, I want uh, uh, I want to answer questions for people who are still here. So Karen, if you're still here, you're the next person. Just give me a thumbs up and I will give you your message from um, from uh, you're welcome, Grandma Kitty, um, from Spirit. <clears throat> and then we will go there. So Karen, Karmic Karen, if you're still here, do that. I'm going to take a little drink of this, which is a smoothie with a lot of ginger today. Oh my goodness. I put so much ginger in there. Okay. I um, am not seeing Karen response. So I'm just going to go to SB who is like, what do I do? in um what sb wants to know where did sb's question start uh la 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 sb how can i get a reading super chat um uh what do i do in this situation with the skin what situation I'm going to look and see if SB, nope, that's the beginning. Um, SB, the first thing I'm going to say for this situation with Duskin, and I, I okay, uh, Karen, I'll answer your question after the next caller. SB, I'm going to say this. Um, you didn't give a lot of detail about what you do with uh, this situation with your, with Des, Deskin, I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the name, but what I'm going to say, I'm hearing a song. It's Desikan, Desikin, Desikan. I'm sorry. I, I'm not good at pronouncing all names. Um, what I'm getting is I'm hearing a song, which is a really old song. Leave me alone. Let me go home. Let me go home and start over or get sober. Hmm. Either way, I'm hearing let it, leave it alone. Leave it alone for now. Let this situation resolve itself. Sometimes when two people have had some sort of complication or a situation sit back now one of the things i'm going to say don't be the person who's sitting there worried about what you did wrong honestly assess the situation because a lot of times especially with women sometimes with men please don't get me wrong i know a lot of shady women out there too but Something will happen and we're sitting there trying to figure out what we can do to fix something that some other poop head did. Some, some poop head way of treating us and we're trying to resolve it because we just don't want to be in conflict with somebody. Okay, you don't have to be in conflict. Let them walk, walk away. Let them go. Because if you are so concerned to resolve a situation with someone without really looking at 
the dynamics of the situation, then it's going to happen again. So give yourself some time, really assess everything that happened, not only in this situation, but before it, and then decide what do you really want? Do you want this type of situation that's going to continue in your life? And if not, I always say I can let people go with love. I send them lots of love and let them be peaceful on their way and let me be peaceful on my way. Nobody should have you in a situation where you're frantic to figure out what you need to do to fix it. Nobody. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 216. I think that's next. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is Desmond calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, Desmond. How have you been? All right, been pretty good. Excellent. Yes, uh, I want to know, can you uh, get some messages from my father? Yeah, what's his first name, love? Albert. Albert, okay, that was my dad's first name too. Okay, uh, I need to ask you, Desmond, is your grandma on the other side also? Yes. Okay, because the first thing, as soon as you got on, before you even let me know you were going to connect with your father or a loved one, I heard grandma, 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 grandma. Okay, so um, is there a specific question you have for your father? Let me start there. I want to make sure if you have a specific question, we're getting that answer. Um. Does he, uh, when did he see my, uh, uh, I mean, does he think I should, uh, wait like maybe eight months before I move? Cause he just, uh, he just passed a couple of weeks ago. So I want to, I don't want to leave my, I mean, my mom got two, I got two brothers too, but I want to leave right, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to leave right away, but I don't want to just leave now, which I'm not, but. Should I just wait a little bit or, I mean, maybe like six to eight months or a year and then to make sure she's okay? And okay, so the first thing I heard was, which surprises me, this surprises me, I heard, no, it's okay for you to go when you're ready to go. Um, you don't, she, she, your mother's going to be okay whether you are there or not. She's a much stronger woman than you know. Um, if you are with her, the one thing he is saying is don't be a dependent. <laughs> like don't have her <laughs> cooking and cleaning up after you like she did when you were eight. <laughs> um, actually be there and be supportive. Um, I, I am hearing that she will be okay either way, but make sure that you're okay also when you make this choice. So the, the answer isn't, no, you should go. The answer is you don't have to stay, but go when you feel like it's right. Um, and you'll know, make sure your mom, make sure you are getting you, the biggest thing you can do. And I'm hearing this very clearly, get her out of the house, get her doing things, get her involved in weekly things like a weekly class, a weekly, um, <clears throat> I know this sounds ridiculous, but a weekly church bingo, any bingo, just, you know, it doesn't have to be bingo either. I, that's just an example. Get her involved in something where she can get out and be with people her own age, and they will be able to form a soul group. Also make sure she is getting out of the house and not um, spending too much time in the house. Make sure anything, the other thing I'm hearing that your father is saying, <clears throat> don't push her to do this. Don't push her to do it. But when she's ready, help her to go through the things and 
uh, like let go of the things that she isn't going to hold on to that were his. Um, and always uh, for you and everybody else listening, check all pockets of all coats, wallets, purses, of anything, pants, um, that you're that you're donating or giving away or selling or whatever you're doing, check the pockets, check every pocket before you let it go. Um, and then you'll feel when it's ready to, when, when it's time for you to move on, you'll feel it. Um, I think it's very honorable that you're there with her and you're helping her through this. One of the things I'm going to say is, Make sure you're allowing her, and this is coming from your grandma and your father, make sure you're allowing her to have an independent life and helping her to create that independence while you're still there, no matter what her age is. Okay, love? Okay. So in other words, even if she's a little bit more mature, how old is your mother, love? Uh, 88. 88. Okay, yeah, that's... That's really, oh, Jesus. Um, okay, make sure that you're still, like you're making sure if there are, I don't know why I keep, whatever group it is that she can get into once a week, going and doing things and being a little bit um, out, out of the house, at least a little bit, okay? Okay. And it's, it's good if you stay for a little bit, just make sure that while you're there, you're helping her to also be independent. Those are the biggest messages I'm getting, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. Excellent. I really, really hope that that was helpful. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. You are welcome. If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one up top on the other side, uh, 897, uh, nope, nope, 845 277 is the number. The other number is my business number. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, Karen, Karen just wants a message from, um, from spirit. So Karen, um, okay, Karen, the first thing I hear is let go. There's something you need to let go of. Um, the way you think something should be, um, the way you feel something should be, might be, please don't, don't get upset at my message, a little outdated. And just let go of that and allow it to happen however it's going to happen. Now, I'm going to give you an example, Karen. So please don't, don't be upset. So sometimes we think like, like way back in the day, I'm going to use a way back in the day example. Way back in the day, people had a lot of children so that the children could farm the land and take care of the parents when they got older and they believed it was the kid's job to come to them and to do everything for them, okay? Um, and so now that's just, it's just not the same. So that would be a way outdated way of thinking. Um, and uh, so Karen, um, I'm going to say this to you, and I'm going to be a little bit exact here, because I know you watch my show often. If you want a specific message from a specific person, put that right away. Don't say any message from spirit. You're going to get your message and then change it to a specific message from this person, which I love that, but I would have loved that first. Um, let go of things being a specific way is your message. Um, and that is your message for today. If I have time at the end of the show, I will definitely, uh, yeah, 72. Congratulations. So Karen is 72. We're all outdated past the age of eight. 
we are outdated because there's so much coming in that's new. It's crazy. Um, don't hold on to the way things used to be done. It's not, I need to really tell this to you, Karen, because this message is coming through. Don't hold on to the way things used to be done or the way you think they should be done because that, I don't know if it's tradition or something else is just not pr practical or doable any longer. Okay, Karen, please don't hold on to like, oh, if they don't come see me, that means they don't care. Or if they don't something or another, um, that would have been something that would have been done 20 years ago, just automatically. And if it's, you think it's not being done now, it's because they don't love or respect you. That's not true. Things are just so busy. I'm going to give another quick example. So on the major holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter, everyone in my family has family. They're married. They have children. I, I am not married. I do not have children. I do not have a significant other. I do not go like, and everyone in my family for the holidays, they're splitting them two and three ways already. This is just an example. And I know so many of us go through this on the specific holiday and we make so much out of this one day. We're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to host the biggest Thanksgiving. So is everybody else. And so in my family, all of my siblings are spending their time either with their children at their children's houses, with their children's children and their children's partner's family, or if they have a husband or a wife, they're going to their house. And so I'm not going to go to their partner's like my sister's husband's family for Thanksgiving or Christmas, that would be whatever. So it, it, tradition is not what it used to be. And it can't be. There are just too many moving parts. So whatever it is, it doesn't mean they don't care. It just means these are just not the traditions they're holding up to. If that applies to you, Karen. Now, if that's, if it's not for that, it's something else that you're holding on to with tradition in the way something you feel something should be done and just don't feel it should be done that way. Let go of that and allow a new way to come in. It may even be a little bit better. Okay. That's what I have for you, my, my beautiful woman. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 405, 405. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Heather. Hey, oh my gosh, Heather, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted you to do, that, do a clearing on me, that clearing we had talked about before. Okay, is it the one or for your is ear? Is there something else I can do? I don't, I, I don't is know. Is it for the ringing ears? <laughs> for your ears mm -hmm. ringing, Heather? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you guys. Um, and then I've been randomly like. I told, like, I've been randomly, like, choking, <laughs> like, on my air or spit. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Um, you guys, I know that so many of us have had ringing in the ears, and, and they'll say, oh, it's tinnitus, but sometimes it's really intense, and then other times it's gone, and that's not normal tinnitus. So there are a couple of things that, in my mind, it has come down to. One of the things could be... A lot of, I, and I have to be careful of the way I word this because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube again. Ugh. So one of the ways that this could be is it could be like all the, the, the G's going around in the air or it could be something else. Either way, we're going to go, we're going to go, uh, uh, whatever is causing this, we are clearing it now. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this is clearing from us. I get a no, let's clear that. There's some stopping or blocking this from clearing. I get a yes, so let's clear all that stopping or blocking this. Oh, Heather. Heather, let's clear that. Okay, 
Um, Heather, I did. Did I put that out? Yeah, I think I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to do this on you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, all of it, all the juju flying around towards anyone for any reason. Pull it now. And I'm going to do a little something. I'm going to say it silently. I will not say it out loud. And we should start to feel something lift immediately. If you feel something lift immediately, even if you're in the chat and you're not on the phone, this is working on you. If you feel it lift immediately, please let me know. Or if you feel it going, please let me know. Okay. Heather, I can't guarantee this is going to stop mm -hmm. the ringing. Um, I can say it might take a little bit of time. Um, one thing I okay. will recommend just in case, and I'm not, I, I will say ear channeling is really good. And then get some colloidal silver and use appropriately. Mm -hmm. And again, I have to be really careful okay. of what I say because... Um, because um, YouTube is now using automated, like AI, and if you say anything medical, mm -hmm. they give you a warning, and they do, you don't even get to talk yeah. to a person to contest, like what what you said. Like my my show, they gave me a warning on. I was quoting somebody and what this person had said. And because what this person had said, even though it was a quote and it was accurate, it's in a TED talk and everything, I can't, I can't get that say to them, hey, this isn't a quote from this exact person. Mm -hmm. Um, because there's no person to talk to at YouTube to tell them this. So I have to be just very careful about things like this. But I feel like if you do this, it'll be very, very helpful for you, love. And I hope that helps. Okay. If anybody else okay. is feeling this, please let me know. We're just going to continue to clear, 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 clear all of this, pull it. Um, and if you are dealing with the ear ringing in one ear or the other or both, just say angels come and clear this and all that is causing it. And just every time, because there is, there's just a lot going on now, folks, there is, and that's uh -huh. the tool you can have to help you with that. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are welcome. You are so very, very welcome. Thank you for calling in, Heather. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, I'm going to go to the next uh, person who I don't, I don't even know who the next person is anymore. <laughs> Nancy. Tony, do you see me staying in the same rental after my lease is up in June or moving? Thank you. Uh, the first thing I hear is it's up to you. If you're happy where you are, stay. In a year, I feel like rents are really going to level out or even come down a little bit. Um, but it's not going to be for a year. Is this going to be in 24? No, it'll be in 25. Um, I feel like from now until for a couple for a little bit rents are still going to be like they are um and nancy i'm going to say something i think this is already on your radar i'm not sure i'm just throwing it out there you are going to relocate you are now if you're relocating to a whole new geographic area meaning city and or state you may do that sooner then a year from June, and you will be good if you do that. However, Nancy, if you're staying in your same geographical area, wait. So that, that's two, two pieces of information. If you're moving out of your city or state, do it sooner, and it's up to you. I'm not the boss of you. I'm just telling you, these are the two things, decide accordingly. If you're staying within your same city, wait. I hope that makes sense. And if you are moving outside of your geographical area, like to another state especially, 
Um, it'll be sooner and it will, it may be work related and it will be a really, oh my God, it'll be such a good move. It'll be so fantastic for you. But sometimes we're just not ready to make that jump, boom, that jump, pew, 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 to a whole new area. If you decide you're ready to pew, um, you will you will love it. So between now and then, if you're ready to relocate to a whole new geographical area, please, please, please start looking the area you want to be in. Start looking at the companies in that area and their websites. See if they have positions for you. If your position allows you to be remote and out of area, Start looking at the area you want to be in prepare because a, a a move to another state can be can take can take a little bit more planning, preparing, and time than just moving, you know, from in the same city. Um, but if you do relocate to another state, holy guaca, frickin' moly, everything you I see it just being like, <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, but the earth opening up and rainbows and hearts coming out of it, <laughs> like, Jesus, it'll be a good energetic move for you. Everything will open up. On every show, something is opening up. <laughs> Okay. All right. Pull yourself together like an adult, Tony. I don't like adulting. I don't want to adult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Joan, well, welcome to the show. Um, oh, we are at the 56 minute mark. You guys, should I do clearing? Should I give random messages? I don't know if I have time for another caller. I'm going to go to 405. 405, listen, before I get you on the line, tell me where you're calling from. I'm so sorry I have to do this to you. Your name and your question, like boom, 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 so I can get you in. We're down to three minutes. 405, what's your name and where are you calling from? He already did me, Tony. It's Heather. Oh, Heather. Okay. Well, then, thank you, Heather. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <You're welcome. laughs> That was fast, right, folks? That was fast. Okay, five six one. We have even less time. Five six one. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, hi, it's Casey from Delray. I just want to know if you see a job coming soon. A what coming soon? A job? Yes. Okay. How old are you, my love? How old are you? Not young. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, just uh, approximately. No, nobody can see your face. Nobody knows who you are. It's okay if you say your age. Okay. A generation X. A Gen X. Okay. So, um, okay. I do see something coming in. It is possible it will be a home-based thing. Now, again, 90 seconds. Okay, yes, something is going to come in. I'm, I'm sorry, Stacey, I, I did give the pre-warning that I might not have enough, a, a great deal of time. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is that there's something coming in. The thing that you choose, you're going to have a choice between two to three things, jobs, and you're going to choose the one that's home-based. I think because it's home based and because of the money. So uh go sixty to, seconds. And and Stacy, I don't know if this makes sense to you. I feel like it has something to do with banking. Now there are a lot of banks that will hire people to sit at home and take customer service calls or a lot of different fraud calls, all different things from home once they train you. So Stacy, I don't know if that's that fits or not, but something like that. Um, and if not, if it's not that exactly, something in that genre. Okay, you guys, thank you so much.